Man, let me tell you something about old Big E. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about old Big E. The other match we watched, well, we watched two. Mm -hmm. But one of them, I actually watched the main event first. I watched the Sasha match first. And then it just felt like, you know, oh, I haven't seen Sasha Banks in a while. Here's a match with Bianca. We'll talk about that in a moment. But it felt modern enough. And then I tur- I tune on, uh, I tune into the start of the show, and it is Drew McIntyre versus WWE champion, champion Bobby Lashley. Now, keep in mind, Roman's on, what, 1,400 days of champion or whatever? Sure. So, to see someone else as champion, I was like, wow. Bobby Lashley was a champion. And I started thinking, like, Bobby Lashley was a WWE champion, huh? (laughs) Who the fuck did he win that title from? I have have virtually no memory of this whatsoever. Well, the answer is... For those of you wondering, keep in mind, this was this was when my mind really started to melt. This was three years ago. Not 13 years ago. Not 20 years ago. Not even like seven years ago. This was three years ago. 2021. Less than three years ago. Bobby Lashley won this championship from... The Miz. The Miz was the WWE champion three years ago. And The Miz won the title from Drew fucking McIntyre. The Miz beat Drew McIntyre. If you recall The Miz's title reign, which I I actually remember that one, because I could not fucking believe that they gave The Miz the WWE Championship in fucking 2021, cashed in on Drew McIntyre. I thought, son of a bitch. Like, you've killed off poor Drew McIntyre. Drew doesn't mention this enough in his promos. He always talks about how, you know, he should have got that big moment at WrestleMania, but then the pandemic happened and he won the title in front of an empty building and then he carried this fucking place on his back. Should have mentioned, I got beat by the fucking Miz. And he looked like a fucking geek, this poor fucker, all that work he put in, he gets beat by The Miz. And then The Miz had the goddamn shittiest fucking title run in decades. Remember? He, like, showed up for Raw, and then they, like, signed him to some match, and he ran away. The WWE champion took his belt, and he ran away and fled. I was like, goddamn. This was when I was like, Vince is out of his mind. We gotta get rid of this fucking guy. He's lost it. Just completely... Devastating this title, burying it six feet under. The title was worthless. Drew looked like an idiot. The fucking Miz is the champion. Well, who beats the Miz? Bobby fucking Lashley. Bobby Lashley beat the Miz. And Bobby Lashley was the champion for like months until he lost to who? Big E! Big E beat Bobby Lashley. And I just... I, I mean, at that point, I was already like, I couldn't even believe this was only three years ago. I mean, people that say, I'll say it for the thousandth fucking time. Any of you motherfuckers telling me it's exactly like it used to be, it's still exactly the same, fuck off. It's not. Look at the shit they do today protecting their titles and protecting their champions. And look back three fucking years ago when The Miz is running for his life as a WWE champion because he's afraid to wrestle. Fuck me. So then, I'm watching this match. I'm like, who the fuck is that on commentary? That guy sounds familiar. And then, one of the announcers says, You're right, Joe. And I went, Samoa fucking Joe. Yeah. The AEW World heavyweight champion today was doing commentary commentary at wrestlemania he was a commentator they were like oh this guy you know fuck he's old he just nah oh a big feud with bra ah 
You know what he needs to do? Commentary. Let's retire him and put him on the mic. So Moa Joe is doing commentary for the guy that beat The Miz for the World Heavyweight title versus Drew McIntyre in the opener at WrestleMania. Holy shit. And the match was, like, good. Lashley beat him clean with the hurt lock. I got no nope. problem with the match. Eh, sort of. The but match was Christ. crazy. Fuck. Yes, I agree. The environment is the craziest part of all. The match is like the biggest cruiserweight match you ever saw. We're looking at close to 600 pounds of meat in this ring, and they were flying all over nonstop. And it's not a sprint. It was like 18 minutes, and they never slowed down. And every time I thought they were going to slow down, like if Bobby hit a big spine buster, I thought, okay, finally we have the heat. No, Drew's making a comeback and firing up a minute later. And then Bobby's firing up and making a comeback a minute later. They're going 1,000 miles an hour. Now, what you didn't mention in all this insanity, this is also the first match with fans back after the pandemic. That's right. These people got a lot of pent-up energy. And it's yeah. a half-full building for, for reasons. Less. I think it was like 20,000. But, man, they were jacked. And they were screaming. jacked. They're like masks everywhere. Yeah. And they're screaming. And they're in everything. It's going just wild. And here's what they did for the finish. Drew has escaped the hurt lock. He has taken the best that Bobby Lashley has to offer and kicked out of it, escaped it, got out of it. He has him set up for the Claymore, his big move. He's going to kick this big dude's head off and pin him and win the title. He's the baby face. Everyone's going to be happy. MVP is in the floor. Says, Lashley. <laughs> yeah. Drew stops. He stops. By the time he goes, Lashley cuts him off, puts him in the hurt lock. Drew puts up a struggle and then goes out clean. What? That's the finish to your first match with fans in a year? Yeah. The opener to Mania? You don't give them the big giant cheer? No. Okay. no. no. Drew McIntyre won the title in an empty building, carried the company through the era of fucking screens, fans on screens, and finally they get fans back, and his WrestleMania moment is the opener losing clean via submission to Bobby Lashley. That is what they did. And you guys are going to tell me it's all the same. It is not. It Did is MVP not. forget a spot? Was he supposed to trip up McIntyre? I don't know. I don't know. It it seemed like that was a thing. But anyway. Um, if he, if he did, we, he had one job. <laughs> That's not right. good. Yeah. You usually see Bobby in with uh, smaller guys because he's, you know, huge. Yeah. And uh, you don't really get to see full Bobby on display um, except he's with a, in the ring with another big dude and you see that he can take it as much as he gives it and uh, he's he's quite an athlete and quite a wrestler indeed um, getting dumped on his head and, and getting thrown around by giant Drew McIntyre is uh, uh, not a lot of men can, can do that and uh, Bobby's awesome McIntyre had uh, Lashley and a Kimura at one time, and that looked fucking legit. It looked like it hurt, and I'm sure it did in some way, but yeah. those guys were selling their asses off. I I did laugh early on when Drew tried to use an arm bar to submit Lashley, the MMA fighter. Spoiler, it didn't work. No, it didn't mm. work, but he tried. You never he know. He tried. You never know. And the Kimura didn't work either, but he tried that too. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.